When we look at the curve of a periodic oscillation, we can wonder how long does the signal take until it repeats itself. Or in other words, what is the distance from one peak to the next or from one part of the curve until the next part that is exactly at the same place in the cycle. So another way of phrasing this is how many cycles per second does this periodic oscillation have or how fast is it or another way to say that is what is its frequency. And an easy way to measure that is to look directly at the curve and then try to measure the amount of time that we see from one cycle to the next. So in this example I have loaded again our sample A02. If you don't have that open yet, click on help, open sample file and then pick the file A02, mail vowels. It's this one here and I will just briefly play it. It's a male singer singing a sustained pitch with different vowels. So he's basically singing the same pitch but he has a mild vibrato and for example if we want to look at how fast is his vibrato is we can of course use the vibrato measurement tool but a more direct and in some ways simpler way is to actually look at the individual cycle. So um, because we're only interested in the vibrato or in the, in the pitch line, not the spectrogram. We're going to turn off the spectrogram and I'll make this a little bit bigger. And now we can see there's a periodic oscillation here that is fairly regular. So let's look at the first peak to peak distance here. And um, I'm going to make a selection for that. Um, for that, hold the command key on a Mac or if you're on a PC, hold the control key and then click and drag. And then roughly we can see there's a selection for this amount of time. And an amount of time can also be called a period. So this would be the period of this oscillation. And now we can see it's approximately half a second here. And to see this more accurately, we can bring up the set selection window. So to do that, click on edit and then set selection or simply press the S key on your keyboard. That will bring up this little window here, which will float. And you can also now point at the selection and change it so that it's more accurately there. And now you can see for here, we have selected approximately 0.186 seconds. That's the period. And now the inverse of that period is the frequency. So for this single cycle, we have measured a frequency of 5.3 seconds. If we, let's look at a different cycle, for example, this one here. So if you go from this peak to this one, again, it's slightly longer. The period is slightly longer. Here it was 186, here it's 192. And so if the period is longer, there's less cycles that fit into one second and therefore the frequency is lower. And if you have the Voce Vista Video Pro edition, you can also look at the vibrato tool to look at a different way of calculating this with more precision. Um, so in that case, I would click on view analysis and then look at the vibrato analysis for this particular cycle here. And it would say here, my rate is 5.2 Hertz. So that agrees with the manual measurement from peak to peak that I've made here. And internally, the tool does exactly that. It measures the distance of the signal or the period of the signal that it requires until it repeats itself. And it does that actually for each individual cycle. And um, that's why the two values agree here. But so we've looked at the fluctuation in the pitch as one peak to peak distance or period that we can measure. But we can also look at the raw audio signal itself. So if we um, enable the waveform, we see here that this is the raw audio that we see. And if we zoom all the way in by using the mouse wheel or the uh, one and two keys on your keyboard or your touchpad, you can now see the actual raw audio samples. And again, we have a periodic signal that we can measure with its peak to peak distance. So yeah, I would say initially one might think it's only from here to here and then we get a frequency of 329 hertz. But that's not actually what we see here because the pitch is between 160 and 170 hertz. If I bring up this view, we can see 
it's exactly it's measured at 164 hertz and so actually this is not a complete cycle here this is uh, the the signal looks like it repeats here but actually we need to go all the way to this peak and if we make this slightly bigger you can kind of see that it's not a sine wave at all it's a more complex signal so we need to be more careful to see until it repeats so this is approximately one cycle of the signal maybe looking at this peak and at this one to get it more accurately aligned and now we have selected a period of 0 0.0006 seconds and the inverse of that is 164 hertz and that's exactly what the pitch measurement tool at this point in time has measured. So that's a simple way to measure short amounts of time, see what the period is and it automatically tells you the inverse of the period which is the frequency. Or if you want to think about it in another way, the period is the amount of time that the signal needs until it repeats itself and then so one cycle has a certain length and then the frequency is just the amount of the number of times that this cycle fits into one second so if one cycle is 0 0.2 then five of those will fit into one second and we would have a frequency of five hertz and another way you can use this dialog of course is just to make a very precise selection so for example if i want to select the first five seconds in a piece I can simply set this to zero and then set the length to five. And now we have selected exactly five seconds and now it doesn't show the frequency anymore because this is fairly long. So it only does that for periods that are shorter than one second.